Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Jesus sent his disciples out on a mission. He sent them out with the, with the knowledge that they were his representatives in the world. And so anybody who welcomed them was welcoming him. And anyone who welcomed Jesus was welcoming God who sent him. We hear this in our scripture reading for today. It comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verses 40 through 42. And I'm reading from the Common English Bible. Those who receive you are also receiving me, and those who receive me are receiving the one who sent me. Those who receive a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Those who receive a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. I assure you that everybody who gives even a cup of cold water to these little ones because they are my disciples will certainly be rewarded. We are called, we are called to receive those that God has sent into our lives. Now, God doesn't just send us nice, well-mannered, clean-cut people. People can be rough. They can be unpleasant. People can have made poor choices in their lives. They can simply be people in pain and so are difficult to be around. And it really doesn't matter. We are called to welcome all. We are called to give them that cup of cold water that is a blessing in their lives. Thomas Thelson Carter was a priest in the Church of England in the 19th century. Among the many things that he did is that he established a house. It was a house of refuge for, for women who were fallen, the house of mercy for the rescue of fallen women. He also helped to establish the sisterhood of St. John the, John the Baptist which was given charge over this, this house of mercy. Now, I can't say for sure, but I truly hope that it was a real refuge for the, for the women who, who went there in difficult circumstances. Alas, many of the institutions of the, of the 19th century that were meant to help people did not always live up to their aspirations. But it is our hope and our prayer that they provided that cup of cold water to those who deeply needed it. Thomas Carter wrote a prayer in which he expresses gentle concern that God's mercy be given to those in need. We commend to your loving kindness, O God, all our relations and friends, that they may be filled with your grace. Have mercy on all sick and dying persons, all who are suffering or in sorrow, and grant to all who are living in error or ignorance or sin the grace of repentance through Jesus Christ our Lord. For a prayer exercise, fill a cup of water. It doesn't have to be cold, but just fill a cup with some water and then pray. And as you pray, pray certainly for your relations and your friends, but also pray for the awkward people that God sends into your life. May your prayers for them be a cup of cold water, bringing the grace of Christ into their lives. <music> 